All right. After uh, evaluating the film from last Thursday night, you know, our, I thought our guys, uh, one, we, we made some plays throughout the game uh, at, uh, at some uh, opportune times. And, and I think uh, in our defense in the second half uh, was struggling a little bit and, uh, but made two stops when we really needed to. And, uh, you know, special teams, we created some game-changing plays in the game and, and uh, you know, taking care of the football by the offense. And those are the reasons we won a football game. Larry, uh, Anthony Ratliff Williams said that he didn't return punt or, punch or kicks in, in high school. What, what was it when he got here that led you to believe that he could be successful? Well, I mean, because he's got, you know, he's got really, you know, he's got great explosiveness and speed and, and – uh, you know, once we worked on developing and him catching the football, you know, in those situations, I mean, uh, you, you just knew he had all the talent and you knew he had all the ability to do it. And so it was more about, you know, feeling uh, better about securing the catch. And once he secured the catch, the rest of it's easy for him. Do you have to look for, like, the it factor with returners? Because you've had so much success in that. Yeah, I think you you know you 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 look for certain intangibles and in guys that you know that can make people miss. They're explosive. They can uh, you know they can go from from goal line to goal line uh, you know and and not get run down. And so you, that's first is just seeing the the pure speed. And then you know one thing Anthony does such a great job is is you know he's he's not searching around for something he hits at full speed and and you have to be able to do that to be a kickoff returner you got to be able to go full speed make one cut and and, and roll how much of an asset is his ability to throw the ball to like you know when you go to those wide receiver passes and how does he compare to like clinch and ryan do they have them do the same kind of thing yeah i, I let's see what is this for him how many throws is he is this yeah, three. So he, I mean, he can make all the throws. He can do all that. So it's not, you know, we've always liked to have guys that could do those kind of things for us at the receiver position. You know, I don't know if anybody's going to match Quinshot. I think he's a four for four and four touchdowns, you know. So, uh, but, you know, Anthony definitely gives us the ability to, to do, you know, those things that we've done in the past with uh, with our receivers. When you recruited him, did you know he was going to kind of move away from quarterback in terms of more athlete? No, not really. I mean, we, we brought him in here to be a quarterback, and it was just, uh, you know, at the time with uh, with Mitch progressing the way he did, you know, we felt like uh, we didn't want to – we wanted to be able to utilize Anthony's talents. And so then we move him, and, and uh, heck, he's, he's too productive to, to move him back. So he's – I mean, I think he's got a great future there. I really do. When so you originally you were looking at him as a possible quarterback? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. At what point – because I remember he, he court, played quarterback in the spring scrimmage you guys had in Charlotte when he first came. At what point during fall camp did you move him to receiver? Uh, I, I don't remember. You don't remember? What? I don't remember. So I don't want to say because I don't. I, I mean, I'd be. I don't know. I, I don't remember exactly. Aside from taking care of the ball, what did Nathan do better uh, Thursday than he did in the Miami game? Uh. Well, he played very similar to the way he did in the Miami game. Actually, I mean, he, he other than he took care of the football, you know, he he uh, that was uh, the biggest thing. I I, I thought the way he, the the last two weeks he's played very similar, other than he took care of the football, and that's that's why we won the football game. I mean, because he he gave us a chance. I mean, he uh, I thought his decision making process was good. It's been good the last two weeks. I thought uh, he didn't force anything this week. He, he threw the ball where it was supposed to go. And uh, all of his decision making in the run game was good. Larry, you mentioned a number of times over the years that quarterbacks get too much credit when things go right, too much blame when things go wrong. With the offense seeming to have regained its footing a little bit the last two weeks, how much of that is, is Nathan? How much of that is the other guys executing better around him? It's probably a little bit. It's a combination of all of it. I mean, uh, you know, Nathan's given us some stability there. And, and uh, you know, if, if, if he doesn't, you know, if we don't turn it over in that, that Miami game, we're, we're, we're in a different situation also. So, uh, you know, but it's been a combination. I think uh, once you've got a little bit more stability there, I think uh, the guys around can, uh, can do a better job also. Is there a sense that because he's been here three years, Nathan, and some of the other quarterbacks have been here one or two, that the players rally around him more because he's came in with some of the guys that are starting? Well, it's, it's more of a, a guy's been here. He's been in, in the program for three years. He's, he's uh, been through our leadership stuff for three years. Uh, he's got, you know, he knows more guys on the team. I mean, you know, that's just, that's kind of the nature of the beast. Does he insert himself into your mind as possibly a long-term 
kind of difference maker there, possibly being the guy going to the He Mexican could be. Center. He could be. I mean, uh, you know, right now he's got to he's got to be uh, the guy this week. You know, so really hadn't started thinking about long term stuff, but he's got to he's got to do a great job in practice this week and and be the guy that takes us into this game. What would allow him to kind of separate himself from that discussion? Continue to do the things that he's doing. You know, and continue to get better in in every phase. Uh, continue to lead. Uh, to can you continue to build the relationships that he needs to on this football team? Uh, number one, take care of the football. Takes care of the football. Whoever takes care of the football, that gives them a that gives them a big leg up on everybody. When Donnie when Donnie Miles went down, there was an opportunity for J.K. to get on the field and play every snap. The last two weeks, he had an interception. They had the big force fumble the other day. Um, how has he played other than noticeable things like oh, that? He's, he's, he's made plays, and, you know, since he's taken over, he's gotten better and better every week. I mean, I, now you can see he, he feels comfortable back there. I mean, he's comfortable in everything he's doing with his communication and all the reads and all those things. So now you're getting to see him be the guy that he really can be. So it's, uh, you know, I mean, that's one of the, the benefits of, uh, you know, of things happening. I mean, we're, when we talk about guys that are getting reps that wouldn't have gotten reps you know, or the number of reps that they're getting, and it, it's, you know, aided in his development. What do you say about Donnie Miles, a player that registered, like, 39 starts, a lot of tackles, obviously, and a big part of that 2015 season, 2016 season, obviously not going to play another snap for y'all. What does he, he meant to program? Well, I mean, I, I hate it for him because it, it means so much to him. I mean, and he loves being out on that field with his teammates, and, and uh, you know, Donnie's a very unselfish person. It's all about the team, and he's been a – you know, he's been a great leader for our football team. I mean, and, and uh, was a big blow for us. I mean, because, you know, he was, he was hoping to get back out there, whether it was uh, this week or, or next week, he, just one more snap. All he wants is to get back out on the field. And so, yeah, it, 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 uh, it hurts, but it hurts for him more than anybody because he's, he's put so much work and so much effort into, you know, his senior year and, and really his whole career here. And just to see, you know, him develop in the, in the, the man that he's become since he got here, uh, it's been uh, it's been a joy to, to coach him. Very much so. Seniors, yeah, very much so. Those guys have, have uh, they're still in every meeting. They're still uh, you know they're out there on the field at practice and uh, they're 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 keeping the uh, the the attitudes right and and they're uh, they they bring energy every day that they're out there. They're not just standing around. I mean they're they're. They're leading, and, and uh, I appreciate that from those guys. Yeah, I mean it is. I mean because you want it for you want it for a, you know you want it for the kid. You want him to be able to be out there and play and, and with his uh, teammates and, and be out on the field in his uh, you know his last game in this stadium. But uh, unfortunately, that's just you know that's the way this uh, that's the way this works. Tyler Powell um, played only two games. I guess he qualifies for a uh, red shirt. Is, do you know if there's been a decision made on that yet? No, they, won't, they you don't even start that process till after the season. No, so. uh, I, I don't know if he is or not. I haven't uh, I haven't gotten through that process with everybody, but I don't know. Are you guys going to go through the paperwork to file for an additional year for him? Or? I'm sure anybody that 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 is eligible or anybody is close to eligible, we'll file the paperwork on them to see if we can get it. But there's, a, you know, there's never ever any guarantees on those things, so. We talked about the win. Can you tell us a little more about what it was like in there for just to get that victory and kind of get that one number back? Yeah, it was, I mean, you know, kids were, I mean, these guys, I've been telling you all every week, they've been, they've been bringing great attitudes to practice. They've been working extremely hard. I mean, they have been upbeat. Uh, even though they, there were reasons that they didn't need to be. And, and uh, you know, so the, and those, the senior class has done a great job of, of creating that culture in the locker room and making sure those guys were like that. And so, man, they, they were just, they were happy. They were, they were excited because all the, all the work that they put in, they finally, they finally got the, the reward. And, and uh, you know, we, we kept preaching, you just keep doing that, keep doing that, good things are going to happen. And they kept doing that, and so good things, good things happened. Jordan obviously has a turnover late against Miami, but you guys go back to him the other night to close out that game. What kind of confidence boost can that be? Did you oh, I think, I think it, you know, first of all, I know he learned a lesson, you know. I mean, because you saw the way he ran with the ball there in those uh, that last three minutes of the game. I mean, there, he wasn't giving that ball up. There was no way. 
And uh, so, you know, I mean, you, you hate that it happened, uh, but I promise you he learned a lesson from it, and, and he'll be a better running back because of it. And I think you saw that in the game uh, the other day, the way he ran and, and uh, how effective he was. He, I think he's a better running back because of it. Did you have any conversation with him after no. what happened? I mean, oh, you song. mean, oh, yeah, I, I talked to him that night, you know, when it happened. Yeah, in fact, I, uh, I called him late that night to visit with him. You know, just to make sure he was okay and, and uh, you know, make sure he was with his teammates. And, and uh, you know, I, I told him then, you're, you're going to be better for it. I mean, we'll, you know, we'll learn from it. Just, I mean, the key is learning from your mistakes. And if you learn from them, then you got a chance. No. no, but if you've ever talked to Jordan, there's not a lot of emotion, you know. I mean, it's, yeah, he's just pretty matter of fact about everything. And, and, uh, you don't see him get excited. You don't see him get real low. I mean, he just, you know, he he knew what he had to do. And uh, I didn't have to remind him. I mean, in those situations, now, you know, you know, we in, in every situation in the game before we hit the field, we, we talk through the situation with our guys. So if we're in a two-minute situation, they know we're talking about getting out of bounds and all the, you know, all the, all the key components that you need to in those situations. And, we, yeah, we talked to all of them about taking care of the football, you know, and, and uh, we, need, we knew we were going to need at least two first downs. Uh, you know, and we ripped off the, the big one on the uh, uh, on the screen right off the bat, and so that helped. And then, uh, you know, but we still were going to have to pick up two after that because we picked up one so quickly. And so, but the, you know, I thought all those guys, the, you know, offensive linemen, the receivers, the tight ends, they did a great job of blocking, and, and he ran hard. Are some wins more personally rewarding for you? And if so, where does the other night kind of stack up given everything that you guys have been through? Every year. <laughs> Every win is, is rewarding, you know, and, and wins are hard to come by. I mean, I, you know, they're, they're, and I think sometimes people take them for granted, and, and they're, it's hard to win. It's hard to win football games. And so you got to do a great job in, in a lot of different phases, and you gotta, you got to overcome uh, whatever adversity that comes up in a game. And so, you know, I don't, I don't know if that, it, where it fits. I'm just, uh, I'm just happy to have it. Aside from the win, how – Rewarding is it also the fact that guys haven't given up, that they continue to fight and like they're playing for something more tangible. Than yeah, the, the win was was more important for our team than anybody. I mean, uh, you know, the, those are the guys that are putting in the, the work each and every day. Those are the ones that come with the positive attitude. They're the ones doing it. And that was who it was for. And that's what it was important is for them to get some to them for them to see you know, that, that if they kept doing the things that they were doing, that they could have success, and that's, that's what happened.